Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Airbus A321 XLR takes flight. Report 2022 sees record pilot hiring. Zero Avia hydrogen slash electric technology to power auto aviation Solera aircraft. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Airbus A321 XLR takes flight. Airbus's newest and largest narrowbody airliner, the A321 XLR, has made its maiden flight and in so doing moved the European airframer closer to its goal of capitalizing on the demand for long-range, single-aisle commercial aircraft. The aircraft, MSN 11000, departed Hamburg Finkenwerder Airport at 9.05 UTC and remained aloft for approximately 4 hours and 35 minutes. The flight crew tested the aircraft's flight controls, engines, and major systems, including controversial flight envelope protections at both high and low speed. Entry into service is targeted for early 2024. Airbus aspires to offer the A321 XLR to airlines looking to service thinly flown, long-distance routes, such as Houston Santiago, New York Rome, and Tokyo Sydney, directly and profitably, rather than operating higher cost, wide body aircraft, or forcing passengers to travel indirectly via wide body hubs. The consortium asserts the A321 XLR's range exceeds that of rival aircraft by as much as 15%. Such endurance is made possible by the addition of a new rear center fuel tank molded into the model's lower fuselage. The addition of the ventral fuel tank has prompted aviation regulatory agencies to voice concerns over the risk of fire in the event of landing gear malfunctions or belly landings. In light of subject concerns, Airbus has delayed the A321 XLR's entry into commercial service pending further assessment and possible modification. And after the break, Yellow Ribbon Honor Flight returns to Oshkosh. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Yellow Ribbon Honor Flight returns to Oshkosh. Yellow Ribbon Honor Flight, which on July 29, 2022 will transport Vietnam veterans from the EAA's 69th Fly-In Convention at Whitman Regional Airport in Oshkosh to Washington, D.C., where they will tour war memorials at no cost to themselves. The veterans will return to Oshkosh later the same day and be welcomed by thousands of people gathered to give them the recognition they so richly deserve. American Airlines will conduct the flight in its flagship Valor Airbus A321 aircraft, which is specially painted to recognize Medal of Honor recipients. NASA report posits moon remains distant. NASA intends to once again land human beings on the moon. These lofty and concomitant goals are largely dependent on the ongoing development of the Space Launch System, a two-stage heavy-lift rocket that will launch the Orion multipurpose crew vehicle into space. The Office of the Inspector General made a number of suggestions pertaining to better tracking, spending, schedules, and keeping NASA and its contractors accountable for overruns, but the report's overall tenor suggested the goal of getting to the moon by 2024 is no longer possible. Norway to return NH-90 helicopters to manufacturer Disappointed by ongoing problems with its fleet of NH-90 military helicopters, Norway is about the endeavor of returning the aircraft to their manufacturer, NH Industries. 
In addition, Norway is seeking repayment of 5 billion crowns, equal to 523 million U.S. dollars, plus interest and other costs from NH Industries, a consortium comprising Airbus Helicopters, Italy's Leonardo, and Fokker Aerostructures of the Netherlands. Norway's defense minister alleges the NH-90s, of which the Northern European nation has taken delivery, are either unreliable or were delivered late. CareFly adds Bell 407 GXI to air ambulance operation. CareFlight has signed an agreement to purchase a Bell 407 GXI helicopter outfitted with an IFR configuration kit. CareFlight's fleet of two Bell 429s and five Bell 407s provide emergency transport and long-haul patient transfers throughout Texas and Oklahoma. In making the purchase, CareFlight becomes the first helicopter air ambulance outfit in North and Central Texas to operate Bell's 407 GXI IFR kit. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Report 2022 sees record pilot hiring. 2022 is shaping up to be the best year on record for pilot hiring since 2000, so states a report from future and active pilot advisors. The first five months of 2022 saw airlines hire 5,526 pilots, 100 more than were hired during the same time period last year. Quote, if you are a pilot, you are finding a job, end quote, said Sam Scanlon, managing partner for JSFirm.com, an online aviation industry job search forum. JSFirm.com's data suggests the top three flying jobs remain Part 121 airline pilots, Part 135 corporate slash charter pilots, and helicopter, primarily EMS pilots. Top non-flying jobs include A&P mechanics, IAA is always a plus, and avionics technicians. Another rapidly growing aviation-related job is flight nurses and paramedics. Pilots weighing career options are invited to attend FAPA's Pilot Job Fair and Future Pilot Forum. The event, which is to be held in Denver on June 25, 2022, will feature over a dozen different airlines, private aviation companies, professional flight schools, and aviation organizations. Major carriers Atlas Air and United Airlines will be on hand to speak with qualified candidates about their airlines and pathway programs. And after these messages, Zero Avia hydrogen slash electric technology to power auto aviation Solera aircraft. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Zero Avia hydrogen slash electric technology to power auto aviation Solera aircraft. Zero Avia and Auto Aviation, the aerospace company founded by Los Alamos engineer Bill Otto, have entered into an agreement by which the former will integrate its ZA600 zero emission engines into the latter's unconventional Solera aircraft. The Solera is a prototype aircraft that seeks to improve the efficiency of flight, thereby reducing the operational costs of both commercial and general aviation. The design of the Solaris fuselage, empennage, and wings takes advantage of laminar flow, a black magic deriving of Bernoullian and Coandian principles which state a fluid stream follows the contours of an adjacent surface. Coupled with Zero Avia's hydrogen slash electric powertrain, the Solera stands to exceed the range, efficiency, and environmental friendliness of conventional aircraft. The Solera is a mid-wing monoplane with a single five-blade propeller in a pusher configuration. The airplane's designers assert its low-drag, 35-foot-long fuselage and 55-foot high-aspect ratio wingspan make for a 22-to-1 glide ratio. 
The design, which is scalable to 19 passengers and evocative of a stretched albino glamorous Glennis, raises the specter of what might have been had Bert Rutan worked for the Luftwaffe. The Solera's ambitious range goals derive of its fuselage design being highly conducive to accommodating large volumes of hydrogen. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!